Add 250 milliliters of water to a 600 milliliter beaker. Look at that. I'm worst case scenario, they have trouble with it. <laughs> Add 70 grams of NaCl to the water. Then stir. Heat the solution until it boils. Now, are we using all the sugar at once? Once the solution boils, take the temperature every 15 seconds. This is the data we collected during our boiling point elevation lab. As you can see, the water that contained 70 grams of sodium chloride had a much higher boiling point than our constant of just water. In order to find the boiling point elevation of our solution of water and sodium chloride, we must complete the following steps. First, find the average boiling point temperature after it has leveled off for each of the trials and the control. When you are done finding these calculations, record the values in your data analysis section. The T1 average is 107.05 degrees Celsius. The T2 average is 107.1 degrees Celsius. The T3 average is 107.06 repeating degrees Celsius. So that makes our constant average 100.6125 degrees Celsius. The next step is that for each of the trials, you must calculate the molality of sodium chloride in moles of sodium chloride per kilograms of water. Record these calculations in your data analysis section as well. Seventy grams of sodium chloride divided by its molar mass of 58.443 grams gives you 1.198 moles of sodium chloride. Then take the calculated number of moles and divide it by the kilograms and you will find the molality of each trial. Step number three, plug each of the molalities that you calculated into the boiling point elevation equation. The change in TB equals IKB times molality, where TB is the change in boiling point, I is the Van Hoff factor, 2 in this case, and the KB for water is 0.512. Next, you should average the three results for the TB of the water, excluding any outliers. Make sure to write the average value in your data analysis table. The average is 5.0376 with a repeating 6 degrees Celsius. For your final step, the TB should be about the same as the difference between the boiling point of the water and the boiling point of the solution of water and sodium chloride. If it is not, something in this experiment went wrong. As you can see, our percent error was 1.5629%, which is reasonable.